Hey everyone, welcome back to CompleteFactsOnline.com. In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating world of France. Get ready to discover some mind-blowing and lesser-known facts about this beautiful country. From its iconic landmarks to its rich history and culture, France has so much to offer. So grab a croissant, sit back, and let's uncover the interesting facts about France together. Before we begin, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update from our channel. We appreciate your support and we're excited to have you as part of our community. Now, let's dive into the 30 interesting facts about France. Number 1. France, the hexagon and largest country in the European Union. France, with a sprawling land area of 551,695 square kilometers, holds the distinction of being the largest country within the European Union. Despite its size, it ranks third in Europe when considering Ukraine and the European section of Russia. France is heavily forested, approximately 31% of its land covered with trees, making it the fourth most forested country in the European Union, following Sweden, Finland, and Spain. Its unique six-sided geographical shape has earned it a nickname, Lexagon. Number two, the birthplace of the camera phone a Parisian innovation. In the heart of France, the camera phone was conceived in 1997 by a dynamic Parisian, Philippe Kahn. This astounding fact might surprise many. The first picture ever taken was of his newborn daughter, Sophie, shared with loved ones. With Paris offering endless picturesque opportunities, it's no wonder such a revolutionary invention was born here. Number three, France, world's most favored tourist destination. Get ready to pack your bags because France is the top choice for tourists worldwide. In 2018, a staggering 89.3 million people chose to holiday in this enchanting country. Not only that, but Paris, its capital, ranks as the third most popular city globally, right after Bangkok and London. Time to start your French lessons. Number four, French was the official language of England for about 300 years. Picture this. English wasn't England's official language for nearly 300 years. From 1066 to 1362, French was the language of choice, introduced by William the Conqueror after the Norman Conquest. Royalty, aristocrats, and high-ranking officials conversed in Anglo-Norman French, with some not even speaking English. However, in 1362, due to the common people's unfamiliarity with Norman French used in legal proceedings, Parliament passed the Pleading in English Act, reinstating English as the official language. Number five, the birthplace of tin cans, hair dryers, and hot air balloons. The French have significantly contributed to the world of innovations. Nicolas Appert introduced the concept of using sealed glass jars for food preservation in 1809, and Pierre Durand later invented the tin can. Louis Braille, who was blinded as a child, developed the Braille system. Physician René Lenec invented the stethoscope in a Parisian hospital in 1816 and Alexandre Ferdinand Godefroy patented the first hairdryer in 1888. Adding a touch of whimsy to this impressive list, the Montgolfier brothers, Joseph and Etienne, launched the world's first public display of an untethered hot air balloon in 1783. Number six, Louis XIX, the French king with the shortest reign. Believe it or not, Louis XIX holds the record for the shortest reign in French history, a mere 20 minutes. Following his father Charles X's abdication in July 1830, Louis Antoine ascended the throne, only to soon abdicate himself in favor of his nephew, the Duke of Bordeaux. This brief stint ties him with Crown Prince Luis Felipe of Portugal for the shortest reigning monarch in history. Number seven, the Louvre, the world's most frequented art museum. The Louvre in Paris holds the distinction of being the world's most visited art museum. In 2019, a record-breaking 10.2 million people passed through its doors, with some attributing a boost in visitor numbers to a Beyoncé and Jay-Z video filmed within the museum. Remember to book your ticket in advance to avoid queues. Number eight, kilts. Surprisingly, their origins lie in France, not Scotland. Contrary to popular belief, kilts didn't solely originate in Scotland. Early versions of similar garments were worn in various countries, including France. These kilts were typically ankle length. However, the tartan kilts that we associate with Scottish culture today emerged in the Gaelic lands during the early 18th century. Number nine, the average French citizen eats 500 snails each year. France holds a unique culinary tradition where snails, known as escargots, are embraced as a delicacy. On average, the French consume a staggering 500 snails per person each year. 
These delectable treats are typically served as hors d'oeuvres, prepared with garlic butter. Number 10. In France, you can marry a dead person. In a surprising turn of events, France allows for posthumous marriages under exceptional circumstances. To proceed, one must provide evidence that the deceased had expressed the intention to marry while alive and obtain permission from the French president. The most recent case in 2017 involved the partner of a gay policeman killed on Paris's Champs-Élysées, granting them the opportunity to marry after his tragic passing. Number 11. A Century of the Tour de France Since its inception in 1903, the Tour de France has established itself as the most prestigious cycling race worldwide. With the exception of the two world wars, the race has been held annually, showcasing incredible athleticism and endurance. Even amidst the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the tour persevered, illustrating its resilience and unwavering spirit. Number 12, baguette superstition, the unlucky upside down. In France, an intriguing superstition warns against turning a baguette upside down. Rooted in medieval times, the belief arose from the practice of bakers, reserving loaves for executioners who couldn't visit the bakery before work. This association with death and misfortune has persisted making the act of flipping a baguette a symbol of bad luck that endures to this day. Number 13. A French woman holds the title for being the oldest person who ever lived. Jean-Louise Calment holds the remarkable distinction of being the oldest person ever recorded, living an astounding 122 years and 164 days. Born in France on February 21st, 1875, she witnessed significant historical events, including the unveiling of the Eiffel Tower in 1889, two world wars, and the advent of television, modern motor cars, and airplanes. Additionally, France ranks 20th worldwide in terms of life expectancy, with an average lifespan of 82 years for both men and women. Number 14. April Fool's Day in France. Beware of the fish prank. In France, an amusing and peculiar tradition awaits on April Fool's Day. If you find yourself in the country on the 1st of April, don't be surprised if children attempt to attach paper fish to your back, playfully dubbing you a poisson d'avril, April fish. This custom dates back to the 16th century when King Charles XIV of France altered the calendar, mocking those who celebrated the New Year's end in late March. Keep an eye on your back and embrace the lightheartedness. Number 15, the white wedding dress of French origin. Dreams of walking down the aisle in a stunning white wedding gown have become a cherished tradition for many brides. Surprisingly, this popular custom traces its roots back to France in 1499. Anne of Brittany, marrying Louis XII of France, donned a white dress, marking the inception of this Western tradition. However, it wasn't until Queen Victoria's marriage to Prince Albert in 1840 that the white wedding dress gained widespread popularity and firmly established the tradition. Number 16. The invention of the croissant can be traced back to Austria. While France is often associated with the beloved croissant, this delectable pastry actually originated in Austria. In the 13th century, Vienna's coffee shops gave birth to the kipferl, the precursor to the croissant. The kipferl, with its denser and less flaky dough, eventually made its way to France, where it transformed into the iconic and famous croissant we know today. This intriguing fact might surprise even the French themselves. Number 17. French toast is disputed to have no French origins. It is claimed by some that French toast, despite its name, has no origins in France. Instead, the story goes that it was created far away by Joseph French, an innkeeper from New York. Due to a simple mistake in naming his creation, French's toast eventually became known as French toast, leading to uncertainty about its true origins. Number 18. French Medical Milestones, the world's first artificial heart and face transplant. France has made significant contributions to the field of medicine. In December 2013, the world's first artificial heart transplant took place at the Georges Pompidou Hospital in Paris. This groundbreaking procedure involved a bioprosthetic device powered by an external lithium-ion battery, closely replicating the contractions of a real heart. Additionally, French surgeons achieved another medical milestone in 2005 by performing the world's first successful face transplant. Number 19. In 1895, the French Lumière brothers pioneered the first public screening of a film. Auguste and Louis Lumière, the renowned French brothers, revolutionized the world of film with their cinematography motion picture system. On December 28, 1895, they held the first ever public screening of a movie at the Grand Café in Paris. Their debut film, Workers Leaving the Lumière Factory, 
a five second black and white clip left the audience astonished. Interestingly, in 1895, Louis Lumiere famously remarked that cinema had no future. Little did he know how wrong he would be. Number 20. Mont Blanc in the French Alps is Europe's highest mountain. Mont Blanc, situated in the French Alps, claims the title of Europe's tallest mountain, reaching a majestic height of 4,807 meters. Scaling its summit requires a challenging ascent lasting approximately 10 to 12 hours. However, if you prefer a more relaxed experience, you can opt for a scenic 20-minute cable car ride to the top of Aiguille du Midi, the highest cable car in Europe, offering breathtaking views. Number 21. France is the proud producer of the world's most expensive bottle of wine. France is renowned for its culinary delights, including its exceptional wines. In the world of fine wines, France stands out, producing some of the best vintages. In a remarkable auction event, a 73-year-old bottle of French Burgundy, the 1945 Romani Conti, broke records as the most expensive bottle of wine ever sold. It fetched an astonishing 558,000 US dollars, selling for more than 17 times its original estimate. Truly a testament to the allure and value of French wines. Number 22, the longest book in the world is French. Renowned French author Marcel Proust holds the distinction of penning the longest book ever written. Titled Remembrance of Things Past or In Search of Lost Time, this monumental work spans an impressive seven volumes and contains approximately 1.2 million words. The page count of this literary masterpiece can vary across editions, but it typically ranges from 4,000 to 4,500 pages in length, captivating readers with its depth and complexity. Number 23. France shares its border with eight countries. Despite its size, France's unique hexagonal shape allows it to share borders with a remarkable number of countries. Its neighbors include Belgium, Luxembourg, Germany, Switzerland, Italy, Spain, Monaco, and Andorra, making it a central nexus in Europe. Number 24, France, the roundabout capital of the world. The unique cultural trait of France may not immediately catch your attention, but it is the abundance of roundabouts that sets their traffic flow apart. With approximately 30,000 roundabouts, France surpasses all other countries, resulting in the absence of stop signs in many areas. Number 25, French, official language. Across 29 nations, French, a widely spoken language, extends its influence to almost every continent. Currently, it holds the status of the official language in 29 countries. Interestingly, French was even the national language of England for a remarkable span of over 300 years. France's overseas territories further contribute to the historical and global reach of the French language. Number 26, romantic restrictions, no kissing on train platforms. Back in 1910, a French law explicitly prohibited couples from engaging in kisses on train platforms, reserving such displays of affection for the world of cinema. The aim was to prevent overcrowding and service disruptions, although its effectiveness remains debatable. Fortunately, today there is no penalty for indulging in a cheeky smooch at train stations, particularly for those embarking on a journey to Paris, the unrivaled capital of romance. Number 27, France, the nation with the most Nobel Prizes for literature. In the realm of literature, France leads the world with the highest number of Nobel laureates. Since Sully Prudhomme won the inaugural Nobel Prize for Literature in 1903, the country has claimed this prestigious honor 14 more times. Notable winners include Jean-Paul Sartre, who famously declined the prize in 1967 for personal and objective reasons. Number 28, France, first country to ban supermarkets from throwing away food. France is leading the charge against food waste, becoming the first country in 2016 to prohibit supermarkets from discarding or destroying unsold food. Now, surplus groceries must be donated to food banks and charities. Large supermarkets flouting this rule could face fines up to 75,000 euros or two years imprisonment. France also prohibits destroying food to discourage dumpster diving, a truly commendable initiative. Number 29, the Eiffel Tower was considered ugly at first. Initially, the Eiffel Tower faced criticism for its appearance. Despite being now regarded as a magnificent symbol of France, the structure was named after Gustave Eiffel, and upon its unveiling in 1887, many Parisians found it unattractive and incongruous. Number 30, the French army was the first to use camouflage in World War I, 1915. During World War I in 1915, the French army pioneered the use of camouflage. Interestingly, the term camouflage originates from the French verb meaning to make up for the stage. 
artists known as camoufleurs painted guns and vehicles. Subsequently, in 1916, the British Army established its own camouflage unit called the Special Works Park RE, Royal Engineers, under Lieutenant Colonel Francis Wyatt. And that wraps up our video on the interesting facts about France. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more fascinating facts about different countries, let us know in the comments below which country you'd like us to cover in our next video. Your suggestions and feedback are important to us as we strive to bring you engaging and informative content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.